thing. I don't know if it's going to be in the video, but Big T, uh, he gave us an, uh, a definition of uh, exercise that was very, very incoherent. <laughs> he sweated a lot, and then he, uh, he asked an audience member they wanted to pay to choke him out. <laughs> That is a, that's a very generous offer. Most people at Open Up Comedy Fight Club do not offer you to choke them out, but he did. So give it up for Big T. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm very excited because I saw the movie Civil War today. You guys seen that? Yeah. You haven't? Well, here's the thing about it. There's a little too much civility for me. So I'm excited <laughs> to go to the most uncivil show in the world, Comedy Fight Club, everybody. <laughs> going to be a wild night. I'm going to preview it. I'm going to tell you about some of the battles. The first battle tonight is going to be Patrick Golden versus Isaiah Mueller. Give it up for them! Yeah. A lot of times comedy and fight club will start out with two people you know, going back and forth with great jokes. I expect this one to be entirely unhinged. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of personality, a lot of screaming, a lot of different things. These, both these guys are wild and they have, if I could gossip a little bit, Engaged in group sex activities. <laughs> which I think is pretty cool. Give it up for that. Yeah. But that just means they'll do some things that some other men are afraid to do, and I think that's very brave. <laughs> the next battle is John Fox or Stan Treadway. Give it up for that. John Fox is one of our longest uh, longest running roast battlers. He started out he started out a little bit slow, but he did have at one point a year long win streak at Comedy Fight Club. Can you imagine winning Comedy Fight Club for a year straight? Yes. Yeah. He can imagine it. <laughs> and how does that memory feel? I'm a sassy bitch, so I do this shit on the day. Hell yeah. <laughs> so John Fox is going like a sassy bitch, winning every battle for a whole year straight. But he lost the battle and he hasn't battled ever since then. It's been over a year. And this is his first battle back. Will he find his love for Rose battling again or will we break his heart one more time? We're going to find out tonight. The next battle is Chase Hoffman versus Chris Connell. Give it a hand. Usually I preview the battles and tell you who they are, but I've never, I don't think I've met either one of these. <laughs> So Chase, what's up? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm soaking wet. Why? It's raining outside. What? It's pouring. Yeah. I hate the rain. <laughs> Fuck the rain! 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 Wait, how are you feeling? I feel pretty good, how are you? Were you afraid of the rain? Not really, no. Dude, this guy isn't afraid of anything. <laughs> are you afraid of AIDS? <laughs> Not anymore, no. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Next battle coming up is Aiden Kelly and Victoria Twa. Give it up for them! <laughs> Both of these people have never done a roast battle before, so give it up for them for being brave. <laughs> So tonight we are going to figure out they like roast battling or we're going to find out they were actually too good for this all the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I had a good time. They're like, actually roast battling is stupid and I'm actually a bug. We're going to find that out. <laughs> and the main event is going to be wild because we have something special. We have the commissioner of Comedy Fight Club stepping into the <laughs> roast battle. Very, very good. It is going to be Matt Baron versus Kelly Stratford. Give it up for that. Matt Matter has been roast battling oh, a very long a time. He runs the show. He's very excited. He has rattled. He has roast battled a lot of people. He did, went to how many overtimes was it with Kim Compton? Six overtimes. Six overtimes with Kim Compton. And then he has also roast battled men. What men have you got roast battled? Uh, JP McDade. JP McDade. Uh, <laughs> Not either one of those things. He's never been someone who is non-binary. The thing about Comedy Fight Club, a lot of stereotype jokes. What will he do as someone who cannot stereotype as a man or as a woman? Matt, how are you feeling tonight? I'm nervous. He is nervous. But it is going to be good. And with that, we're going to bring up the Commissioner of Comedy Fight Club. Give it up for Matt Marin. Tonight! Yeah! Woo! He goes, will be wounded 
feelings will be hurt. Because we don't come here to make friends. We come here to fight! This is humiliation. This is brutality. Anything goes. No holds barred. This is Comedy Fight Club! Thank you for coming out. Welcome to Comedy Fight Club. Coming to you live from the CFC Arena! I am the Commissioner of Comedy Fight Club, the sleeveless wonder of the world, New York Times comedian, Matt Marin! <laughs> Very excited to show tonight. First thing I want to say on behalf of everyone here at Comedy Fight Club, rest in peace, O.J. Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you, Juice. <laughs> Very excited for this show tonight. We have a fantastic line of run the cart fights, followed by an incredible main event coming down from Albany, one of the best roast battlers in upstate New York. I realize that's not a compliment, as I said. <laughs> He's fucking hilarious. Give it up for Kaylee Strapper. <laughs> she will be facing yours truly, the commissioner in the main event. And in honor of OJ, I will be the real killer tonight. <laughs> A lot of you guys have been to the show. For those of you who haven't, this is a roast battle show. People get up here, they're going to say mean, vicious, offensive things to each other. Stuff that you're not supposed to say. But while you're here to have a good time, someone's going to get offended. Does that sound good? <laughs> we'll go over the rules here at Comedy Fight Club. Each undercard fight's going to be five jokes, tit for tat. Two people will step on into the fighter circle. Main event will be a three round battle, and the winners of these fights will be determined by an amazing judges panel. Fight Club, give it up for our judges tonight! <laughs> but up first, not sitting behind me, sitting in front of me right now from this point forward, each and every one of you is Comedy Fight Club. Because your applause is going to count for one vote in each of these fights. Which means Fight Club. I just have a whole lot of energy. What do we say? You got some energy out here for me tonight? <laughs> so when I ask you who you think the winner is, you are going to clap for one fighter and one fighter only. That's you will not clap for both. Because we can't have two winners. Which leads to the most important rule here at Comedy Fight Club. No fucking pity claps. No fucking pity claps. <laughs> No, this is comedy fight, but this is where sympathy comes to die. Someone's gonna lose up here. You will let them lose with dignity! <laughs> now let's meet our judges up first. She's been on Kill Tony. She's open for Joe Rogan. New York Comedy Festival. Guys, give it up for Gina Hyena! <laughs> out of a bucket, now I can judge people. <laughs> uh, Gina, you've headlined this show before one of our favorites. Your first time judging. Very excited to have you. How are you feeling tonight? Great. I'm also a sassy bitch. Uh, <laughs> you've headlined this show before. You've seen a ton of roasts. What are you looking for in these fights? What can the fighters do to get your vote? Silliness and stereotypes. Silliness and stereotypes. Maybe even a silly stereotype. <laughs> Fight Club, give it up for Gina Hyena! And up next, she's the host of Roasted at Grove 34, another great roast battle show in the city from the Two Nosy Meerkats podcast. Give it up for Gabby Jordan Brown! Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Matt? I like you, little homie OJ. <laughs> Hell yeah. How you feeling tonight, Gabby? I'm feeling great. We got everybody here. This is a hot electric crowd. We got, we got the finance district. <laughs> and then we got guitar hero avatars. <laughs> Hell yeah. Gabby, you've judged the show before. What are you looking for in these fights? I'm looking for like eight more age chants. Eight, 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 eight. All right, I'm checking that off. Fight Club, give it up for Gabby Jordan Brown. And up next, he's the official goofball of Comedy Fight Club. He's one of the creators of Fitborough Comedy Festival, one of our favorites here. Give it up for Patrick Haggerty. What's up, Patrick? How you doing tonight? I'm doing good. My best friend John Fox is on the show, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked about that. I don't know who John Fox is going against tonight, but you lost, dude. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, Patrick, you've judged the show, you've headlined here before. What are you looking for in these fights? Be fucking John Fox. Yeah. <laughs> Fight Club, give it up for Pat Haggerty! And our final judge tonight, one of the best roasters we've ever had here. He's headlined this show. He was number one contender to the Comedy Fight Club Championship. Headlined this show at the New York Comedy Festival at the stand. Give it up for Fluke Cuban! What's so, up, Fluke? How you doing tonight? I'm happy to be back at Lucky Jack's, man. My, uh, my first roast battle ever was in this very basement five years ago. That was yes. the first time I learned that I closely resemble a gay pedophile. <laughs> I'm on back on this esteemed lineup of uh, fucking two umpires and a C-list damn girl. <laughs> Hell yeah, Fluke. You judged this show before. What can the fighters do to get your vote? Uh, have really good jokes or just like bomb with style. <laughs> Hell yeah, you can bomb with style here at Comedy Fight Club. Guys, give it up for Fluke and all of our judges tonight. And before we get started, I have to introduce our amazing DJ Fight Club. I need to give it up right now for DJ Don't Believe. Oh, no, not let yeah. DJ Let Next! Yeah. We used to have a DJ Don't Believe Women. He was here last week. I heard confused. But <laughs> well, Fight Club, what do you say? Are you ready to see some fights tonight? Oh, I need more than that, Fight Club. I said, are you ready to see some fucking fights tonight? <laughs> Let's get this started. Up first, we have an undercard fight schedule. Five jokes, tit for tat. Introducing first, you may recognize him of sniffing toilet seats in the women's bathroom, Patrick Golden. <laughs> What's up, Patrick? How you doing tonight? Nice? I feel good. Good. You ready for this fight? Let's do it. Alright, we're going to meet your opponent now. He's a gay black man, so his middle name is Paws. I say I'm the What's up, Patrick? How you doing tonight? I just uh, got out of a blowjob, so I'm feeling great. And, uh, it was with Patrick's dad, so that's my next for the night. It's going to be great. Uh, AIDS, 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 AIDS. I've never heard the term got out of a blowjob. I've never heard got out of a blowjob. It's an appointment. When you're on Grindr, there are appointments. Oh, okay. Five jokes different. <laughs> Patrick, Isaiah, which one of you two would like to go first? I'll go first. Yes. Isaiah's going first, yes. Patrick's going second. Fight Club, what do you say? Are you ready for this fight? Woo! Five jokes starting with Isaiah. This fight starts now. Uh, Patrick Golden has uh, admitted to uh, paying for sex. I can't imagine why. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, Patrick, you do look like you play Pokemon Go and always find yourself outside of an elementary school. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, Isaiah is a big conspiracy theorist. In fact, he actually believes that Comedy Fight Club is being controlled by a cabal of Jewish warlocks. <laughs> and they have predetermined the winner of this fight. So, I just want to say to the judges, Todaraba and <laughs> that shit with Iran's kind of fucked up. <laughs> uh, Patrick recently took a job as a gardener, uh, but only after the Mexican border crisis because he said there is finally an opening in the market. <laughs> He hates Mexicans. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Four those dogs. I do too. Um, Isaiah was a part of an a, a TV series. He was an actor on an Amazon Prime TV series called Mystery Mansion. Coincidentally enough, this is also the term Isaiah uses when he's walking around Chelsea late at night, swiping on a dick on Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> <That's true. laughs> 
Uh, Patrick's father was uh, disbarred from being a lawyer after he was divorced from his wife. I mean, the guy can't catch a break. Can you imagine all that stuff happening to you? And on top of that, you have a retarded son who's trying to do comedy. Just <laughs> 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 can't catch a break. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, Isaiah produced a seven episode long sketch series called To the Streets. Unfortunately, the highest viewed video had only 388 views, and that was the trailer. Maybe you should take that series to the trash. <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, no, uh, Patrick's a very talented person. Uh, Patrick, I loved your work in the new Ghostbusters movie. He was the uh, chubby uh, marshmallow guy that was scurrying around. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, honestly, Patrick, you uh, you do look like a uh, an overweight white man uh, who is. <laughs> Just, yeah, he fucking does that. Oh, yeah. It's uncanny. <laughs> Uh, this next joke is written by my aunt Charlene from Texas. Props, 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 props. I just want to say, as a Christian Southern Baptist woman, it broke my heart to hear that Isaiah starred as a transgender crack whore on a TV series. Little Isaiah, you know, bless my heart, you know that the word Isaiah comes from the Hebrew word Isaiah. <laughs> Which means the salvation, the salvation of all. Isaiah, you need to be saved. That's good. <laughs> I told you guys, he's retarded. <laughs> I tried to warn you all. Uh, no, uh, uh, Patrick's uh, stepfather is from Israel, and uh, somehow Patrick still bombs harder than he does. Uh, it's called Topical Humor. Last year. Uh, um, okay. Isaiah is what's known in the gay world as a top. Um, which he actually had a reverse situation go on with his uncle because he fucked his uncle's pussy so hard that he got dragged out to sea and had to be rescued via helicopter and it was on the news. <laughs> it wasn't my uncle, it was Patrick. Fight Club, give it up for your first fight Club of the night! We're gonna go to you guys' first fight club. Do you think the winner of this fight is Patrick Golden? Yeah. 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 Or is the winner of this fight Isaiah Mueller? I don't know, pretty close. Crap uh, <laughs> out goes to Isaiah. Fluke Human, we'll start with you. What do you think of this fight? Oh, this is really fun, dude. I love a uh, race war at Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. You both uh, had a lot of uh, a lot of heat. I'm gonna give it to Pat though for his uh, his. He brought to light so many uh, important issues, such that this show is indeed run by a lot of gay Jews. <laughs> so there's a vote for Patrick. Pat Haggerty, what do you think? Uh, I gotta say, I didn't like Isaiah's jokes because he was making a lot of jokes about Patrick, and my name's Patrick, and it's. <laughs> And I felt like he was being mean to me directly, so I, so I didn't like a lot of those. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I gotta go with Isaiah. That that uh, that that prop thing that Patrick was doing. I've done uh, performance-based jokes that have bombed also, and it feels like we're doing a vaudeville act. Where you're like, oh yeah, oh, I got a vamp. Huh? All right, uh, but but uh, it was but it was a great job by both. But uh, I'll vote for Isaiah. There's a bug for Isaiah, and I will say, I just realized, Fluke is sticking to what he said, because Patrick bombed in style, and then Fluke voted for him. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that too. <laughs> Two to one for Isaiah, Gabby Jordan Brown. There's something so beautiful about watching someone, like, accuse this sh 
bar show of being owned by the Jewish mafia. <laughs> Put on a wig and then fully say that a guy fucked his uncle. <laughs> All to get beaten by the phrase overweight white man. <laughs> Yeah, for that, my vote goes to Isaiah Kachok. There's another vote for Isaiah. Three to one. He's got it wrapped up, but Gina, Hyena, final thoughts. Yeah, I've decided to make a drawing of what the rose is like. <laughs> so I made a marshmallow Pokemon sucking dicks. <laughs> Isaiah, because I also like just fat white man or uh -huh. overweight white man. I uh, really wanted the wig and the Texas thing, because I spent a lot of time in Texas and it did what I'm doing right now. So, fat <laughs> Pokemon, everybody! Yay! Another vote for Isaiah. Fight Club, give it up for the winner of your first fight, Isaiah Mueller! And give it up for the first time anything ever in a Rose Battle show could be called art. <laughs> Introducing first, he is a big New York Mets fan, and I want to fuck his sister, John <laughs> What's up, John? How you doing tonight? Can't complain, how you been? You see why Patrick Haggerty loves him so much? You ready for this fight? As we're going to be. Uh, we are going to be your partner. <laughs> he looks like every pedophile's defense attorney, Dan Treadway! <laughs> What's up, Dan? How you doing tonight? I'm not John Fox. This is going to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ready? You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, Dan, John, which one of you two would like to go first? I'll go first. Kill him! Dan's going first. Let's go to second fight club. What do you say? Are you ready for this fight? Five yeah. kills starting with Dan. This fight starts now. Uh, John has a thick Brooklyn accent, a drinking problem, and he loves the Jets. Uh, he has all the characteristics of a wife beater, but the physique of a man who will never have a wife. <laughs> Uh, I just want to start off by thanking Dan for taking time away from trying to destroy Dexter's laboratory. To <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Dan, Dan, from, Dan moved from Canada to work at a sports gambling site, so it's hard not to call him autistic when counting is the only reason he's in this country. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hot Pockets Only Diet. Uh, <laughs> Uh, John, often, John often tells people he's from a heavily Irish and Italian part of Brooklyn rather than letting them figure it out on his own when he lights a Black Lives Matter flag on fire. <laughs> uh, what do Canadian hockey teams and Dan have in common? What? It's, har it's hard to imagine either of them picking up a cup. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't realize it's actually a very good joke. <laughs> I said that was off limits. Uh, <laughs> thank you, January 6th Wario. Uh, <laughs> I'm grateful John could be here because it feels like any day he's going to be off to the Philippines to purchase his child bride. Uh, Dan pees at the urinal with his pants all the way down. <laughs> I, ass I assume. <laughs> Uh, thank you, fetal alcohol syndrome PSA. Uh, John is considered by comedians to be a potential triple threat. No, sorry, I mean, John is considered by doctors to be a potential triple bypass. <laughs> All right, we need to wrap this up so Dan can go prove that Timmy Turner is fairy godparents. <laughs> fan of professional wrestling, but the only thing he has in common with professional wrestlers is no one will be surprised when he dies in his late 30s. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> uh, Dan has been dating a girl who owns a cat for seven years, which means for seven years his girlfriend had to take care of a pussy and a cat. <laughs> 
Odd joke starting with Chris. This fight starts now. Hey guys, uh, Chase is gay. Well, yeah. isn't that crazy? Yeah, hey, it turns out AIDS makes you bald too. <laughs> Uh, Chris looks like he has a gun in his rolly backpack. <laughs> and, uh, I'm just here for the don't come to school tomorrow text. Really. <laughs> hey, uh, you guys, uh, you know what I found out? Uh, Chase doesn't use chapstick. Is that crazy? Yeah, he uses cum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on you because I don't use any of <laughs> And so you might recognize Chris from chain smoking outside of 7-Eleven. <laughs> he just kind of does like resting welfare face. So. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> Chase had a tough, uh... Come on. <laughs> Oh, fuck no. oh, no. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hey. Chase had a tough childhood. He's Jewish, he's gay. Uh, instead of playing Smear the Queer as a kid, they played Chase the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Better in your head. <laughs> I'm sure you got a lot of voices in there, so yeah. <laughs> well, uh, so wait, Chris, actually I have a question. If you're here, who's impersonating black people on Twitter? <laughs> You want me to kill myself? <laughs> <laughs> Chase, I think it's pretty rude of you to have stolen the personality of a black woman. <laughs> like a true Jew, you've come to take from them again. They steal from black people. What? <laughs> <laughs> Music industry is shot. <laughs> <laughs> what he said, alright. Yeah. I've actually never seen Chris do an ounce of stand up. I honestly don't know why he's here. <laughs> Chris is such a rando, I might as well roast a halal cart guy outside. <laughs> well, at least we know his moms would be better. <laughs> Last job. Alright. <laughs> Fuck it. Underneath that hat, Chase's head looks like a man's ass. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> I come to suck the energy, guys. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Chris is actually on a mental health journey, and hey, babe. <laughs> Next time, uh, Belt goes here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bob, give it up for Chase and Chris! <laughs> Hell yeah. I'll say it takes a lot of balls to come to Comedy Fight Club in socks and sandals. Chris, I appreciate it. <laughs> Gay and who's the straight one? <laughs> We're gonna go to our judges. Fluke human, we'll start with you. What do you think of this fight? Uh, dude, this is a great battle between a guy who sucks dicks and a guy who smokes weed out of the most dick shaped thing you can find. Uh, it was pretty uh, one sided, I thought it was definitely uh, him. There's a vote for Chase, Patrick Haggerty. Uh, this is a nice battle between a big dumb homo and Chase. <laughs> Another vote for Chase. We'll go to you guys now. Fight Club, do you think the winner of this fight is Chris Connell? <laughs> or is the winner of this fight Chase Hoffman? Yeah. Right, Chase has gotten I think regardless, the winner of this fight is friendship. <laughs> Loyal friends. <laughs> Loyalty. Gabby Jordan Brown, tell us why you think Chase won. <laughs> uh, first of all, Chris, I'm glad you're here. Your mental health journey is going amazing. Uh, you guys, you guys look like I don't know. It's like hiking trip chaperone energy. Um, hardcore, like for a gay guy, like hardcore lesbian stuff going on in these outfits. Like you guys are dressed like my aunt and her roommate. <laughs> Uh, but it was a great fight. Uh, you guys honestly both had some bangers, but the gun in the rolly backpack, I knew you were taking it from there. So I'm giving my vote to Chase Hoffman. There's another vote for Chase. He's got it wrapped up. But Gina, what'd you draw for this one? That emoji that looks really nervous. <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna go with Dylan Claybold, I mean uh, Chase, um, because I like war mode too, and I'm nervous about you. <laughs> yep, that's me. I'm gonna survive. <laughs> You should call him Chris and not by the other person's name. Um, that's one vote for Chris, but Fight Club, give it up for your winner, Chase Hoffman! Another undercard fight, scheduled five jokes, tip for tat. Introducing first, he's the kind of Irish guy that will make Conor McGregor seem likable, Aiden Kelly! What's up, Aiden? How you doing tonight? I am feeling pretty bummed. When did OJ, OJ die? I know, just a couple days ago. Oh, I know. OJ died and World War III almost broke out. That's uh, a Yeah. But other than that, how are you feeling? You ready for this fight? Yeah, I'm pretty ready. I'll, I'll get over it. Uh, Alright. <laughs> we are going to be... my best. Alright. We'll be your opponent now. She'll make you wish OJ killed Asian women. Victoria Schwab! What's up, Victoria? How are you doing tonight? I'm um, good. I just had this. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. okay. Are you ready for this fight? I'm I'm so ready. <laughs> Five jokes, tip for tat. Aiden, Victoria, which one of you two would like to go first? Ladies first, Aiden. Oh, all right. Oh! Susan Boyle and Drag is going first. <laughs> Victoria's going second. Fight Club, what do you say? Are you ready for this fight? <laughs> All right, Joe, starting with Aiden. This fight starts now. All right, uh, Victoria was in Miss America. She didn't win. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she is by definition not the prettiest girl in America. She is nothing that bad but to try and be funny. <laughs> Some of you guys uh, might recognize Aiden from the Ugly Loser Guy Snapchat filter. <laughs> Aiden, if you were to use that filter, the only thing that would change is your eye spacing would be more normal. <laughs> oh my god. Give it up for Victoria. I was talking to Victoria before the show. I have to say, she is walking proof that pretty people don't have personalities. Perfect. Neither do ugly people. Aiden looks like if you had to draw a Pixar villain from memory. <laughs> Guy whose girlfriend just cheated on him, face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. uh, uh, Victoria's on Miss America trying to help out autism, which is a pretty useless way to help. Uh, <laughs> just like the vaccines don't cause autism, uh, being pretty doesn't cure autism. Depression, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, which is exactly what he did to Matt to get on this show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to talk to Matt with two silver words. <laughs> uh, Victoria has uh, an Asian father and a Polish mother, which is uh, pretty progressive. Especially progressive as uh, uh, Victoria's father can't say the racist slur for Polish people. Keep it up, dude. <laughs> Uh, this, is a, this has kind of been a big time for Irish actors, they're on the rise, so we have like Barry Keoghan, Sir Ronan, Killian Murphy, Aidan Kelly, how does it feel to have the only pronounceable Irish name that no one will ever know? <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, Uh, 
Victoria actually uses her platform to uh, encourage kids to go into the sciences, which is pretty fucking progressive. Actually, Regina <laughs> Hayes, she is just reinforcing the stereotype that all Asian women are, all Asian mothers are hired asses by demanding we go into schools and demanding kids go to fucking college. What? I won the Best Fan Oscar for uh, Oppenheimer, which inspired Aiden tonight to do the worst bombing an Asian person has ever seen. Yeah. Thigh for 30 seconds and then ask her if she came. 
I'm just kidding. Patrick would never be that close to a woman. <laughs> Unless she's passed out. <laughs> and we had uh, John Fox versus Dan Treadway. Let's give it up for them. Yeah. I don't remember who won that. <laughs> I know that we lost, though. Uh, Dan Treadway, a.k.a. Steve Blowjobs. I have a question for you, Dan. Well, why did you stop like 80% into your transition? <laughs> And then uh, we had John. John looks like he gets chronically bullied, but he just like tough along because he was taught to respect his parents. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> then we had uh, Chase Hoffman versus Chris Connell. Is Chris still here? Or has he killed himself yet? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chase, are you here, buddy? Yeah. Okay. He's bloating. Uh, Chase is a good friend of mine, I'm really proud of him. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, Chase, during the week, works a 9 to 5, and on the weekend works 9 to 5 inches. Yeah, he gets laid and you don't. <laughs> and then there's Chris, who hasn't made a pussy wet in his life. I'm just kidding, he wets himself all the time. <laughs> and then, finally, we had Aiden Kelly versus Victoria. Aiden, you have the sad eyes of a girl that gets picked last in a gangbang. <laughs> and uh, uh, Victoria, we learned today, is a uh, half Asian and completely disappointing. <laughs> For liking men. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Victoria. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I really loved you in that movie where you came out of the TV. <laughs> Fantastic. And coming up next, we have a main event between two killers. Are you guys ready for that? Yeah. Before I end, I'm gonna bring up the big dog of comedy fight club, Mark Henley! What's up? It's the commissioner of comedy fight club, the sleeveless wonder of the world, New York Times comedian, Matt Marin. Here to talk to you about Manscaped. You can go to manscaped.com right now, use the promo code CFC20 for free shipping and 20% off any of your orders worldwide. You can get the all new Lawnmower 5.0. It is incredible. I just got it. It's the best razor I've ever had. Most of you who watch Comedy Fight Club probably don't get laid that often. So when you do, you want to make sure it looks great down there. You can get boxers, you can get deodorant, you can get grooming equipment for your beard, for your balls, for your ears. That's promo code CFC20 for 20% off and free shipping. If you love this show, you want to help Comedy Fight Club, go to manscaped.com, buy something, use the promo code CFC20. You'll be helping our show and you'll be helping your balls. Now back to the show. What's up guys? Are you guys ready for the main event? The first coming up, they are coming down all the way from the Hudson Valley. They are the jam of the Hudson Valley. Give it up for Kaylee Stafford, everybody! Uh, Kaylee, how are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Feeling confident? Yes. You think you have the edge? I mean, I'm not binary, so I have edges, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Commissioner of Comedy yeah, Fight Club. Yeah, yeah. His pronouns are he and give it up for Kevin Hart. Yeah. Yeah. Matt, how are you doing tonight? Good, feeling good. How does it feel coming out of retirement for this? Uh, very exciting. I'm happy. I'm ready for this fight. We know he's excited because he did the dance that he does when he likes the song. Which is this. <laughs> <laughs> if you see Matt Marin doing this, he's having a good time this evening. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a three-round battle. The very first uh, round is gonna be three jokes each, tip for tat. Which one of you two wants to go first? I'll go first. Matt's going first. Kaylee's going second. Yeah. This fight starts now. Woo! Woo! All right, finally, I got to face someone who wears less deodorant than I do. <laughs> you guys may recognize Kaylee from blogging about problematic Halloween costumes. 
<laughs> you look like every employee at a Buffalo Exchange mixed into one person. <laughs> and you do not get any money for your clothes, I'm sorry. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, so give it up for Matt, everybody. He just celebrated a fifth year anniversary yeah, of pretending that he had brain surgery to explain what's going on here. <laughs> Oh man, Kelly, uh, Kelly likes to go diking, hiking, she likes to go hiking. <laughs> and Kaylee is non-binary, so I want to be very careful when I say that they have a smelly pussy. <laughs> At least I can get women. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's laughing because it's true. Okay, um, yeah. Matt's speech is like kind of hard to understand, and that's uh, not because he has a list. It's because he um, always thinks he's a dick in his mouth. That wasn't that funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Let's give it up for the weirdest girl at the nudist colony. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but we found a less funny Hannah Gatsby. <laughs> and just like Hannah Gatsby, Kaylee's also a terrible comedian who lied about getting raped. <laughs> If a woman rapes you, like, no one believes it. Um, yeah, yeah, that is true. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Matt uh, lost a comedy roast to a robot version of Sarah Silverman. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, which just shows the only time he can successfully beat a woman is in the privacy of his own home. <laughs> Guys, fight club, give it up for Matt. Yeah. Hey, Hot here to go to the judges in between each round to kind of give some context, see what's going on. We're gonna start up. Gina is still drawing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start up. Flute, flute. What do you think of this battle so far? Oh, uh, dude, really excited to hear from uh, Albany. I got a killer on a roast scene up there. Dip <laughs> <laughs> into the, uh, dip into Vermont, you know. <laughs> uh, West territories. Um, that's pretty good. I do think Matt has the uh, has the lead right now, uh, which I'm glad because he. Lost that arm wrestling match to a fat black stripper and uh, <laughs> hell to a robot. And if he loses to Albany, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anymore, so. Yeah, I think Matt's got it going forward, but we'll see what happens in round two. Interesting. Matt, Matt may be pulling ahead, but does he need this more than anybody else? We're going to find out. <laughs> Matt Haggerty, what do you think so far? Yeah, I had heard that Albany has a bunch of great roasters, but they might have just been talking about Kaylee. Because uh, <laughs> she's a they them. Do you get it? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Gabby Jordan Brown, what do you think? <laughs> Sorry, I love the amount of, oh, she's a they. You guys saw I use both, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Matt, listen, as a bisexual woman, you, I, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about myself. <laughs> you, you hate Hannah Gadsby hate. Okay, you hit Buffalo Exchange. <laughs> I think you might be my dream girl. <laughs> there may be a love connection to that. <laughs> it's been meant to be. You guys look like cartoons about the opioid crisis. <laughs> um, I, think, I think Matt has the edge right now, but I can't wait to see more. Alright, Gina, how you doing? What do you think? What do you got? Um, I'm still drawing, so my brain doesn't work at being mean and drawing at the same time. Like, be meaner to him. <laughs> he's, he's more vicious. He's being so mean. He's so mean. You can do it. You can do it. He has a brain injury. Go with that. <laughs> Gina believes in Kaylee. We all believe in Kaylee. Are you guys ready for round two? Yeah. straight through. Uh, Matt started last time, so Kaylee, you're going to start this time. This roast starts now. Okay. The, last <laughs> uh, the last time I saw Matt Marin roast a man, he took the face of him and he put him on a body of a Sonic the Hedgehog with big titties. Um, and I'm really disappointed that I was not put on the body of Sonic the Hedgehog with a big dick and little balls, okay? Respect my motherfucking pronouns. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love that that was used but no one laughed. <laughs> 
Um, Matt laughs after every single one of his jokes because somebody has to. Um, yeah. Um, Matt likes to wear sleeveless shirts in the winter and in the rain to prove that he has enough body fat to keep him warm. Um, yeah. Matt just finished bulking at the gym, you know, which is like when you gain a shit ton of weight. And now he's like, oh my god, I'm so excited to start cutting. Um, and you can see it's on his arms and not his calories. <laughs> Uh, Matt, it's your turn. All right, thank you, Billy Guyesh. Uh, Kaylee has two genders and six stomachs. Uh, Kaylee, Kaylee, too fat for Hollywood, not fat enough for black men to like you. Is witchcraft. Uh, their favorite ritual is wishing their father was still alive. Haley's <laughs> <laughs> father is dead. I don't know how he died, but apparently, 30 years ago, he said, if I ever end up with a daughter who's a fat, ugly, bisexual, non-binary, vegan witch, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. <laughs> but did make the classic mistake of being fat. <laughs> yeah, I'd say Matt's not really pulling ahead here. Kaylee, you're gonna need a lot of hentai in round three. <laughs> Some deep cuts. Um, yes, yeah, look forward to it though. Alright, we are going moving on to round three, guys. A little horror into round three. We're gonna break the last round of this battle. Guys, keep it going for this autistic art teacher, everybody. <laughs> Kaylee, you look like you paint murals with period blood. <laughs> I do, I do collect it. I do. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. If you, it was honestly, he, he wants some. Uh, it was, uh, okay, but yeah. So. Um, it was hard for me to find information on Matt because if you Google him, the only thing that comes up is Matt Marin motoring, uh, which is not him and a bunch of tits. You know this. It's five pages of a man who talks about cars, and he has 442,000 more followers than Matt will ever have. So he needs this one. He does. <laughs> Uh, Kaylee goes to the gym a lot. Uh, the fact that I need to tell you all that shows how well it's working. <laughs> uh, deadlifts are what Kaylee calls the shoes she wore at her dad's funeral. <laughs> I can deadlift 300 pounds. That is, that is just because I am sad about my dad dying. Uh, okay, let's see. God Almighty. Um, okay, okay. Um, uh, this is not good. I, I'm flustered. I'm flustered because Matt just looks like a man who doesn't know how to, like, fuck vaginas and he's still winning. <laughs> and that's my joke, honestly. You know? <laughs> so that was fine. Sure. <laughs> right, we gotta wrap this, we gotta wrap this up. Kaylee has to get- Kaylee's a slur! Kaylee's a slur! Faggot! <laughs> Uh, Kaylee looks like 
Katy Perry fucked Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> They're best known for their song, I Kissed a Girl and She Lectured Me for Misgendering Her. <laughs> you're hot, then you're cold, you're he, then you're she. <laughs> California, thems, they're un they are forgettable. <laughs> and my favorite, do you ever feel like a stupid fag? <laughs> I can say it too. <laughs> he can say it because he is one. <laughs> Everyone's happy to meet me now. <laughs> yeah, um, Matt uh, is really good at roasting, as you can tell. And that is just because he wants to honor his ancestors who are Jewish and who have been roasted in the past. <laughs>
is the, uh, Dan Treadway. Uh, Dan Treadway's initials are DT, uh, but which is funny because he's down to fuck dudes. Huh? Uh, <laughs> we also had Chase Hoffman versus Chris uh, Connell. Chase Hoffman's initials are CH, which is funny because ch ch you're a faggot. <laughs> against Chris Connell. Chris Connell's initials are CC, because I'd like to CC him on an email and call him a faggot. <laughs> uh, Aiden Kelly was here. Uh, Aiden Kelly's initials are AK, which is fitting, because uh, he's also known as a faggot. <laughs> I know she was good. Uh, <laughs> went against Victoria Chihuahua. Chua right? I'm sorry. Went against Victoria uh, C, uh, VC, right? Yeah. <laughs> Her initials are VC. Give it up for that, everyone, huh? Yeah. Which, is, uh, which is fitting because she's uh, very Chinese. <laughs> Initials are KS, which is fitting because uh, she uh, likes to kill no. sacks of shit. <laughs> uh, uh, and Matt Marin's initials are MM, which is fitting because he likes to eat M&Ms while he sucks guys' dicks. <laughs> Comedy Fight. Come subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram at Comedy Fight NYC. SixStreetApparel.com for t-shirts. We are back here next week. 